Christchurch has this feeling that anything is possible. They're really running with this opportunity to reinvent the old and turn it into something even more vibrant, even the coffee. This is the old post office. It survived the quake, and now with a few tweaks and unexpected twists, it's become the new home to an old favourite, Coffee Haunt C1. Eclectic would be understating the decor in this place, which has come straight out of the imaginations of owners Sam and Fleur Krosky. We didn't want to rebuild things just the way they were. It's an opportunity for change. We try to have loads of fun things. Our current fun thing is yeah, hot chocolate served in ice cream cones. Here's a bit that no one notices, which is our counters made out of 14,000 Lego bricks. Oh, and don't forget the coffee. And with blends made with turmeric and ginger, even beetroot, who could forget? Yeah, but we're currently serving as a special beetroot latte. And how many of those do you go through a day? <laughs> People are into it. Our clientele want to try new things. These guys don't do things by half. Take the way they deliver C1's infamous sliders. Ingenious, entertaining and efficient. It's a lot of fun. Our kitchen's actually miles away, so it's served a bit of a purpose with delivering the, the burgers from our kitchen into the cafe. Um, but it's just it's something that's really memorable about us. Something that's a lot of fun. I feel I know more than I need to about those from having my arms stuck in them on multiple occasions. There's a system of this in the Christchurch Hospital. Trained surgeons do a worse job at getting things stuck in those tubes than our chefs. This place makes you feel like you're part of something very special. A glimpse into the past, an appreciation for that creative spark Christchurch is building a real reputation for, and, oh, what they do with a hot chocolate.